Today is November 15th, 2013, my 15th day in a row vlogging and a part of my daily vlogging challenge for the month of November. I really don't want to vlog, but I have a feeling I probably really need to vlog. Um, I've had a tough time dealing with my anxiety today. I won't go into it too much, but I... Uh, you know, I have a house that kind of um, has neighbors in it that, you know, can't be trusted. And I didn't feel comfortable leaving my house unoccupied all day while I went out to do errands like, you know, my laundry. I needed to go and pick up a minute my medicines, I needed to go grocery shopping, I needed to go to my P.O. box. So I think that because I felt house locked, it really, really added to my anxiety. So rather than dive too much into the whys of my anxiety, I want to talk about this book that I bought. It's um, called Stop Sabotaging, a 31-day DBT challenge to change your life. Now, I've talked uh, before about a therapy program that I had taken. It's an intensive program. It's called Dialectical Behavioral Therapy. Basically, the program gives you the tools to um, help yourself to... Um, not feeling crisis or to uh, gives you the tools to recognize when you might start to um, get depressed or get anxious or whatever unhealthy negative behavior is, uh, you know, associated with, um, you know, if you have a dysfunction, like if a um, if you have a diagnosis of a disorder or an illness or something, um, it's really a great, great framework for living and decision making, taking care of yourself, handling relationships and so forth. So um, this program, um, this book is basically like you have a different challenge every day and I think that there are some YouTube videos of people that have taken the challenge and have vlogged about it every day. I'm not necessarily sure that I'm going to do that. However, I thought I'd share day one with you, which is the self-care challenge. DBT has um, a s skills called, it's called the please skills. Um, P-L-E-A-S-E. -E. And in this uh, challenge, it specifically goes over these police skills with regards to um, using them as one of your tools to not self-sabotage. And I'll go over them with you. Um, the first one, the P, is treat physical illness. And it says, you know, is there anything you may need to see a doctor about? Are there any outstanding health issues that you need to take care of? Um, are you having maybe side effects of medications or side effects of um, maybe your dietary intake or something that's causing you distress and not assist, not helping you? Um that's one of the first things think about, you know, what physical symptoms or illnesses do you need to treat? Um, then this number two is balanced eating. Often when we're stressed, we overeat or undereat. So it says, do your best today to eat regularly and healthfully and stay hydrated. Again, we're going over DBT gives you this like the basics, like no matter what, this is the, these are the things you have to do. So um, 
So two is balanced eating. Number three is avoid mood-altering drugs. It says it can be so tempting to take a substance that will alter our state of mind or numb us from the pain we are feeling, but doing so only causes more problems in the long run. Um, For me, sometimes the mood-altering drugs is actually caffeine. I know that caffeine really sets off my anxiety at times. I have noticed that sometimes I've shown you that I'm drinking tea. There's a specific um, kind of tea that I've had a couple of days this week that have caused me to be awake until three or four in the morning. I know that I cannot drink that tea anymore. Um, So being mindful of avoiding mood altering drugs or um, be mindful to avoid mood altering drugs or any substances that could negatively trigger you. Um, the next step is balance sleep. So often when we're stressed, as with eating, we'll, we'll either over or underdo it, this says. So this can be a tricky one as the ability to sleep enough to feel well and balanced may seem out of our reach. But it, again, these are the tools. It's 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 telling you to be mindful of your sleep, and that you need to have good sleep in order to have that foundation to have a healthy mindset. And then number five is get exercise. That is what I did not do today. I really wanted to do today. You know, I'll be honest. I what I. Not leaving the house is not an excuse to not get exercise. I have all of the resources I need here at home to get exercise. I have um, my Roku with fitness channels. I have weights. I have um, a jump rope. I have all kinds of tools to assist me to get exercise. I just didn't, and I should have. That probably would have helped make me feel better. Um, One thing I did do to help try and help make me feel better is... Um, when I was feeling really, really stressed, instead of sitting in that stress um, atmosphere surrounding myself, I took a shower. I took a shower and visualized that I was washing the stress off me, and that did help a little bit. So this, um, the next part in this book says, how does practicing the police skills help us to stop self-sabotaging? When we take care of our physical needs and health, we become less susceptible to the erratic, often dysregulated emotions that we can be vulnerable to when we are not. If we are feeling more balanced due to this self-care, we may experience less impulsive urges, reducing our possibilities of self-sabotage. So that's day one. Those are the, those are some of the skills to uh, ruminate over for day one and um, yeah I didn't do many of these I didn't treat my physical illness because I didn't leave the house to get my medicine Um, I didn't really have balanced eating because I didn't leave the house to go grocery shopping sleep was so-so. That was pretty good, actually. And I didn't exercise. So those are the things that I'm going to focus on to help me have a better day tomorrow. And if you've watched this far, thank you so much. I appreciate your patience through these crazy, crazy videos. Um, Just to let you know, this book that I have is um, by Debbie Corso. And I bought it on Kindle, so I'm actually reading it on my iPad through the Kindle app. And I like it. I mean, I know I know what I need to do. Sometimes I need those reminders, and that's why I'm going over these steps right now. <sighs> Thanks for watching. I'm so glad the end of the day is near, and I... Have a new fresh day tomorrow. I hope this video finds you well. If um, 
if it doesn't, I really hope that you find uh, peace and some calmness in your life soon. As I, you know, as I say, reach out to someone, reach out to me, reach out to a neighbor, reach out to a friend if you are feeling in distress. If you're not, maybe keep your eyes open. Is there a friend that maybe you could pick up the phone and give them a call, say hi to them, and maybe uh, share some time with them? It might make a difference. I will talk to you, my video camera to deliver a video to you and connect with you very soon. Thanks for dealing with my craziness. Bye.